This is great. Thank you, everyone, who's joining us. Yes, we've got 13 now. I don't know if you can see that on your end, Kimberly. Can you? I can. Okay, perfect. Oh, how awesome. Perfect. I yeah. can't. So, New platform, we're really excited. We're always excited to have a chance to talk with Kimberly. Yes, Aww. Kimberly's like oh, our favorite person on the planet. I'm just sad that it's under these circumstances today. Yeah. I know. It's still, just, yeah, but I'm still very happy to. No, so this is what we're gonna talk about. Oh. Yes. We should yes. We, we actually- We have a stack have, of tubs. Yeah, we have a huge stack um, of empties and- them. And um, from, <laughs> oh, you really did stock up. Ours didn't have um, our store didn't have extra. Oh wow! Yeah, these so, are all the empties because I was like, I'm gonna keep them because these are nice containers. They really, they really are. are. They really are. You know, so I I kept all of them, and but yeah, I mean, so it's like, so I I mean, well, we have 16 people for. I hope I'm assuming that everyone who's following us or right now has heard the news that Radcat has decided to close their doors and no longer sell cat food. Um, you know, I think I heard yesterday that they may be coming back. They just need to reach a point where they can, people haven't been paying them. And so they need to raise money so they can pay their bills. And then maybe they can take a second look and think again about, you know, offering cat food. I'm I'm curious to know um, how they felt about the outpouring. You know, I wonder if they realize what an impact they have had on the lives of so many cats because um, I'm seeing so many people come forward and saying, you know, I've said it that this is the only raw that my cat would eat. But I say that as someone who has a cat that's just very particular about what he eats, I'm starting to hear from people who have cats with serious health issues and rad cat is what they need to eat. And so um, that's why I reached out to the two crazy cat ladies because you know this is our go-to for all things cat, myself included. I know dogs, but I really am floundering when it comes to understanding what my cat needs. I know that it's a lot um, more complicated, it spills, because you have to make sure your cat has enough taurine and um, there's also other nutrients that, you know, where I can do the whole, I'm going to balance over time with my dogs. I have to take it a lot more seriously with my cat. Right. So um, to start, you know, tell me, what was your first reaction when you heard the news? Like, where were you? You heard the news. <laughs> it, was we were, it was my birthday. And we were sitting in the backyard, actually, and we had had a fantastic morning. I had an outpouring of everyone saying happy birthday, and our customers were e emailing me, so we were really, really excited. And I, we jumped on Facebook. I was on Facebook on my phone, and my re my physical reaction was, oh! Uh, and I was like, and she what said, happened? And I was like, Brad Cat. She's like, oh, no. And I, and I think, so the, the process went from being really upset about Brad Cat as a, not even ourselves first, it was Tracy and Janice. It was the the company of Radcat that yeah. really, that we were like, oh no, like for them, not as much for us at first. I yeah. mean, it only took about 10 minutes. Well, but we had the pleasure of meeting them a couple of years ago at Super Zoo and we're just floored and inspired by um, why they're doing what they do, how they came about doing this and just the integrity of their brand. And it yeah, was just we, like a big, bright, shining light for anyone who has a finicky cat that you want to have a healthy diet. And, and you know, this, you go through different things and it's like, Oh my gosh, rad cat is yes, just the best. best. So yeah. our initial reaction really was just absolute devastation yeah. at the circumstances that circumstances that led up to them having to make this heartbreaking decision yeah and we were we were honored a few years ago at super zoo they sat down with us and um on a personal note just women business owners to women business owners and gave us a lot of we were still newbies and so they gave us a lot of like advice on you know you have to keep trucking and you have to yeah. you know get over the hump and all this stuff and we were uh we just fell in love with oh, them yeah. just you know them we were already in love with their food but then them as people Oh, we were total so we fangirls. Yeah. We got to yeah. meet them. We were like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Next to that, then, as soon as we were like, oh my God, what are they going to do? Then we were like, oh my God, what are we going to do? We gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like one of those things where 
I feel like such a selfish person because, you know, um, I gone on this journey with my dogs and it was actually quite simple. And I, you know, I started with the, you know, my cat's old. He likes what he likes. I'm just going to let him eat what he's going to eat. And um, then, you know, like the pressure got to me of, you know, I'm feeding my dogs this great diet. You know, maybe I need to keep trying with my cat. And it's like meeting you guys and talking to other people who know a lot about cats. I got the encouragement to just keep going at it. And I got him off of the kibble, onto the can, then onto the can and onto raw this year, just this year. Yeah, He's been yeah. raw. And I was like, I felt like such a champion um, of managing to do that. So, yeah, I had the same reaction when I saw this. It's just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Finally. But um, my biggest concern is, is not so much that my cat actually, you know, I think that I can get him onto another food. My concern now is in hearing from other people are there are cats that have health issues, kidney issues, um, and urinary tract issues, and rad cat, there's just something about their formula that seems to be better for cats. And so do you know anything about that? Yes, actually, the so rad cat is the um, the first food that we transitioned our cats to as well, and we did it because our uh, oldest was 18 at the time, and he was just diagnosed with elevated kidney levels, and so um, and they wanted to put him on a prescription diet, and we were like, no, um, not doing that. So uh, we started looking into it and found that rad cat was. Um, it, it's made of eggshell calcium, so it's low in phosphorus, and it's really good for cats with um, CKD uh, or any kind of kidney issues. It's good for cats with IBD. There's a lot of different uh, feline ailments that is um, that rat cat is just super conducive to. Now, yeah. on top of that, it is still like the food that every cat will eat, and, and I don't mean every cat, but the majority of cats. If they're going to be fed raw, they they prefer the cats prefer um, rad cat. So it's really helpful if you have a cat with, you know, a kidney issue or a digestive issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's another. And that was like the next thing that we thought. Like, what are all these? What about people? all these? Yeah. What about all of these cats out there that are being fed rad cat because of a disease that they have? And that was yeah. Then again, devastating. Um, cause there's so many, and I'm sure that you've heard this too. There's so many, uh, cats, especially, um, among the folks that we know that are just like, this has put and for us as well. This has absolutely put a stop to the kidney issues. This is, or, or stopped the Gross. progression of it. Um, there's, or, or having issues with digestion. It just, I, we don't, when we ask them when we, when we met them, what, do you put in your food? And and we are fully convinced that it is probably mostly the absolute love in which they yeah. Uh, yeah. make it and why they make it. We think that's probably it. But there's obviously something about uh, how they do it, the, maybe the grind or the I don't texture, know the yeah. texture. And then and obviously the, the quality of ingredients that really yeah. nail some of these issues that cats deal with in such a way that it's just like an hallelujah moment for cat parents because they, they finally now have a fresh, healthy food they can feed their babies. <laughs> and uh, and it's making a huge difference and it's adding years to their cat's lives. A devastating. So, so in a post rad cat world, what do we do? I mean, how do we find something? Because I'm hearing oh. everyone's throwing out suggestions on food. Go oh, try this food, the food is working. You know, what are we looking for um, when it comes to feeding our cats? Okay, well, I'll tell you what we are planning. Our to. panic, panic. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of our thought process is. Now, our cats have been also fed primal and um, Northwest Natural, Northwest Natural vital, essentials. vital Essentials, homemade diet. The thing is, though, and, is that all of all of that, we have to, up until, well, until we can't, we've had to mix in rad cat in order, even the homemade diet, there's something we have to mix in some rad cat in order for them to eat it. So we trick them into doing this. Now we can take that step a step further. So if your cat is like, they eat primal or they eat answers, which is a fantastic food. Um, but it's just not their favorite. So they'll put their nose up at it or whatnot. Um, we can trick them. 
We can trick them by adding treats on top. They, you know, you can trick them by adding um, even Parmesan cheese or something like that. You know, something that they that really like. That sounds delicious. You can, I know, uh, you're hungry. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can, so we can trick them into eating another diet. Um, I really think that we're, we're actually making a video today using Easy Complete, which is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is, um, it's a way, it's a, pre it's a premix. And we haven't used this yet. We've used Al Nutrin in the past, which our cats really like. That's probably the, the their most favorite, yeah. but it's a super, super easy way for everybody that is uh, panicked about this issue. Go check out Easy Complete. It's a really easy way to just mix this in with some meat and it's all, you know, it's a pre a pre mix for for cats um, and you can do it with eggshell calcium. So you're still getting the eggshell calcium. Um, so for cats that have health issues, this or Al Nutrin with their um, with their uh, and I think there's another one called TC something. There's a few different pre mixes, but with the eggshell calcium. Um, you can make your own at home and then you just kind of have to play with it. Um, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing a lot more of DIY recipes and yeah. trying to, you know, help our, help our cats. Um, I, I do want to say, I think what's the other thing that we really, um, that was just an awful thought to think about. And what a lot of people were saying was now that Radcott is closing and they're saying, I've been to the store, they're sold out. I can't get like, it is a panic moment. Um, I'm going to have to go back to kibble. And that is a huge fear that for, for us, for those cats is that, you know, they've, their cat parents that have made that effort, as you well know, to transition, uh, persistently transition their cats to a healthy food. And now this, and this, and rag cat is the one they've tried them. They've wasted a ton of money. They, this is the one that they really love. What do they do now? Uh, and there's some people that are saying, I'm, I'm going to have to go back to kibble. And that's, no, I mean, we, we really, really want people to um, continue to feed fresh and, and hopefully know the difference that it makes. And for us, one of the big things, because we have our kittens actually eat another brand of uh, raw food as well. Fetching food. Fetching foods. Yeah. Our kittens love fetching. They foods, is... love it. And it's a and it's a really like meaty. They love to chew on it. It's got all the bone and stuff in it. But um but we, we've been starting to mix that in with our with our older boys food as well, trying to get, get them, them ready start eating. Yeah, a different diet. So, so really, if you have a bunch of rag cat on hand, if you're like us and you went out and you purchased the whole store and you've stocked up your freezers and you're like, OK, I, I at least have like a, a stop gap for a minute, um, then then start to start now transitioning them to a different food. If it's just because of the flavor, there are tons of good um, quality cat foods out there. Yeah. Tons. Um, try them. You know, some of them give samples. You can go to your local uh, healthy pet boutique and find, um, you know, different brands. Try them out. Um, go with the go with the frozen. I mean, freeze dried is okay, and most cats like freeze dried. But you want to rehydrate it if you're going to do that because the moisture is what's really important for our cats. Um, so. So, um, yeah, try to try to go to a different brand and then slowly transition them over to it. If it's because of a health issue, look into um, making your own at home. You can make your own um, eggshell calcium, too, if you don't want to do this and you can and you can uh, formulate it yourself. Um, there are plenty of recipes online where you can formulate um, that have already formulated it for you. So you just follow the follow the guidelines and use eggshell calcium. Um, and we do have, we are actually for all of you guys that are watching that are really freaking out. Um, we do, we are working on something. We are working on something for everyone. Uh, we originally started working on it for ourselves, but now we're, we're working on sharing it. Stay tuned. If you don't follow our page, follow our page. Um, the two crazy cat ladies. Cause next week we're going to be, she'll start following us. Fine. <laughs> That's a joke y'all. That's a joke. <laughs> Because we're working on a solution or a stopgap solution, basically, yeah. because we're all hoping that Rag Cat, um, you know, rises and it comes yeah. back. Um, and um, and if not, if you're still looking just for a stopgap solution until you can find that homemade formula, we're working on something. So, um, yeah, that, we're going to see. There's, there's lots of options. 
You just yeah. have to. For people that are wondering which foods, I think, you know, there's, there's, we only uh, recommend foods that we actually feed or, yeah. um, so those would be again, Northwest Naturals, Vital Essentials, Primal. Um, fetching foods. Fetching and foods. Rad cat. And then, and, and then, cat. and then making your own with the and the easy complete. Yeah. Yeah, out there. I saw, I've seen a lot of people mention Darwin's. I have tried Darwin's That's with my nice. dogs, but not with my cat yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, I have my order. So I'm adding some cat food to my order to see how um, my cat likes it and see if my cat likes it. I recently tried, um, I think it's called Quest, and it's by Steve's Real Food. They have, oh. I think it's called Quest. It's some, it starts with a Q. Um, but that's a new food that was recommended to me and Cosmo liked it at first, but then he just wasn't really interested in it afterwards. Okay. That's basically, you know, if you can contact brands, because I, and I, I wonder if we're going to see a lot of brands start offering free samples and if you can see if you can get a free sample, maybe they'll even have them at the store where they, you can wow. get a small, either a free sample or just a small amount. That way we're not paying out a bunch of money on food that our cats aren't going to eat. And yeah. earlier we were talking about meal toppers. And one thing that I found to be successful is if I put, I don't know if I have it here. I do not. But, um, is that us? Is that you? I don't hear anything. Okay, then it's good. It's just me that's hearing it. Um, I'm looking around and I don't have it, but Dr. Becker's Bites has the shakers oh, yes. yeah. with the liver. And so doing some type of meal topper like that with some cats will tempt them into eating. Um, yeah. Someone else told me that they pour a little bit of the answers goat milk or on the yeah. food. I mean, every cat is going to be different. But yeah, definitely don't run back to kibble just yet. Really try and see what you can do because as yeah. well, you know, Jay and Adrian said just a few minutes ago, it was a nightmare getting our cats here. Right. And it's a Don't devastating thought. Don't I was going to say, too, uh, when talking about the, the meal toppers, Primal also makes it the chicken liver. Oh, my God, it stinks. Chicken liver. Um, freeze dry tree. tree. But for, for two of toppers. our boys, yeah, for two of our boys, man, if, they, if they're going to turn their nose up at it and be like, uh, no, I'm just not going to eat it. Uh, you take that and I'll crush it, like turn it into like a little powder over their food. Yeah. Done and done. You know, and <laughs> there are other brands like Darwin's. Um, um, We've not small tried batch. Darwin's. We haven't yeah, tried Darwin's. Either. We haven't or tried small, small batch. batch. Um, but but good quality brands that you can definitely try out and see. Yeah. Small it, batch was recommended to me too. So I'm after we finish, and in a couple seconds, you're gonna hear dog barking. Um, just ignore them. Is he chasing um, a What? <laughs> Are they really not going to bark? They're really tired. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm going to, I was small batch. I was recommended. So I was going to pick some of that up to see how he would like it. The benefit yeah. of me is like, and if you guys, anyone out there watching is, it has a similar household. I have four dogs. So whatever the cat will turn his nose up at, the dogs are going to eat it. So it's not going to be a complete waste. Yeah. Um, um, but if you don't have dogs, if you have any friends that have dogs and that are fed a raw diet, just give the food to them. That way you don't feel like you're wasting it. And some stores will even take the food back. So yeah. if you're trying to yeah. food um, and you're talking to the store, sometimes they'll offer to take it back if your cat doesn't like it and you can exchange it for something else. Um, and then finally, the other thing is um, I went, I'm one of the people that went to the store and bought up all of the rag cat. My cat will only eat his raw if there's a couple of tablespoons of soft on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm making it last longer by yeah. having the um, the canned food. So if you feel like, you know, okay, um, I'm trying all this new food, go back one step. And my back one step is when I was feeding half canned, half raw. And yeah. so every new brand that I try with Cosmo, I mix in a, a soft food that I know that he'll like. Yeah, we do the same. Yeah, that really yeah. helps. Those are really good points, though, too, about yeah. not wasting the food. I think that's a big fear. It's always been a big fear. You go out and you get something and you waste a lot of money. And with, you know, with these developments with Radcat, it's always been the steady Eddie, right? We can always count on them eating that now that that's literally sold out all over the world now. Um, that uh, 
totally lost what I was thinking about because it's just we, so we still, Because our cats, I mean, just like anybody who has, a, who has, yeah, several, who have several cats, they probably understand that our cats will be like, yes, I will eat this. And then all of a sudden one day they're like, nope, I don't nope. want it. And, <laughs> and so we do the same. We have to, cause, and it goes back and forth. Sometimes it's, you know, months for completely raw, no problem. Then all of a sudden they won't touch raw no matter the brand. Um, so what, so what we have to on? mix in a little canned and, yeah. and trick them into. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. The not wasting it tips, the donating it to neighbor dogs that eat raw or doing something where you're not actually wasting the food. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like Barbara says here, it's like if a, if a store takes it back, they're just going to throw it out. And that is a good thing. I mean, many of us, I'm, you know, I don't know how many of us, but it feels like a growing number of us. While we do feed our animals a species appropriate diet, we ourselves are kind of trending towards a plant-based diet. So, yeah. you know, we don't want to support, um, you know, like factory farming or anything like that. So it also hurts our heart to throw meat out because yeah. an animal died to feed our animals oh, and now we're just going to throw it in the trash. So, you know, always ask if you're concerned that you're going to take this food back. Cause my thought was that, you know, if it's a budget issue, then you're probably going to want to go and exchange it. If they are going to just throw it out, then maybe, you know, give it to a neighbor's dog, you know, and yeah. the only thing that's beautiful about our community is that we're growing. If you don't know if anyone in your area feeds raw, jump into one of these Facebook groups and see if there's anyone in your area and, you know, do some trades that way. That's what a lot of times when I have food that my dogs want, I can trade with another local dog feeder. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yep. Or you can feed the ferals. There are a lot of feral cats out there that I would venture to guess won't yeah. turn their nose up to raw meat and there's feral communities everywhere right now it's starting to temperature starting to drop in a lot of places and some good healthy meat is good for the feral communities too yeah. so it's like it's it's not ideal and it sucks for all of us um i'm still i wanted to bring up the fact that there is a um crowdfunding campaign going on right now. yes i want to ask going scrolling through to make sure I get her name because I know she has the link. Um, so I, your comments here. Spicer, if you can do me a favor and share the link to that um, crowdfunding in the comments, that would be fantastic. Yes. Uh, is, you know, because what happened is like if you read the articles, um, there is a blog post over on the Rad website. There was also an article that was written over on, um, you know, Truth about that food. And it's kind of eye-opening. I know that there are a lot of people out there that are misinformed about what happened. They sort of feel like this is a company that had too many recalls and they went out of business. That's not the case. Um, you know, so you want to you know, take a moment and read those articles and think about seeing you know, what you can do. You know, sometimes it could be like, you know, you can donate money if you can afford it. Sometimes it can just be about going to your local store and buying out the shop. Yeah. So that's what I chose to do. And um, and sharing. If you don't have the money to you know, support the crowdfunding campaign, you know, and what the campaign is for is because they basically, Radcat wasn't getting paid by their um, distributors because they were just sort of like, we're going to hold on to this money for now, which meant yeah. Radcat could pay their bills. And they finally just hit the wall where we can't go any further unless we have some uh -huh. money. And if people aren't going to pay their bills, then Rad Cat can't pay theirs. And it's just a really crappy situation to have them found in. So, you know, share that crowdfunding. There are so many things that we can do as far as, you know, share that information, share those articles, the blog posts on Rad Cat, the article over on the Truth About Pet Food, and um, share this, share your tips on how people can feed their cat a species appropriate diet post Rad Cat. There are so many things that we can do. Yeah, I'd yeah. really love to see Sharing. the, I really love all the support. I think it's been so incredible. Just reading through their comments on their Facebook page or their Instagram or on the GoFundMe, I think it's so fantastic. Uh, it must be such an affirmation to them and hopefully a motivation to them to hopefully be able to bring this brand back. But I do think about it. If just a few people could give whatever they can give, more than just a few people, uh, then there's really a chance. And then stuff like this is not is not going to, because the other thought was this is really going to be discouraging for those of us in our community that are looking towards uh, perhaps being part of providing this fresh incredible fruit food and then they read this story and they're like ah no we need yeah. to we need to show them that this is 
this is how we stick together. And yeah. I really think that, you know, RadCat's been a pioneer and I think they're a pioneer in this area as well. And I really love seeing all the support they're getting. So yes, share away yes. as much as do yeah. whatever you can. That's a good point. It is a, a hit to the raw food, raw pet food industry as a whole. Yeah. I would say, because I, you know, everybody's got to be like, well, if it, if, if it happens to them, it could happen to us too, you know? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I want to reemphasize the share, the share sharing. If you can't give, if you can't, whatever you can share this, uh, the GoFundMe post and you never know who's going to see it. That one investor, that one person yeah. that you know, just won the lottery and the lottery is really high right know now. They, or, they you know, down yet. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's so many, it's, it's astounding. I mean, I, I, I'm embarrassed to say this. That was really good. <laughs> this is just came into my head. Maybe she'll help us. Uh, yeah. See? Hey, girl. If you're, if you're friends with Oprah, you better share the post. Share the post. <laughs> I'm distracted by Rodney's comment that said, I also want to add that as of tomorrow, my cat and I are adding Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> And, oh. yeah, you know, I did recently start um, a sourcing co-opting group and it's basically a raw feeding group. It's not about learning how to feed raw. It's just sharing um, where to buy raw. That's all it oh, is. If someone, if someone knows of a co-op, if someone knows of a farm that is selling to individuals, things like that, that is a place. It's very new. So there isn't a whole lot of information on there yet, but I'm hoping that it can be a resource for all of us. Um, where is yeah, that? You know, it, I, think it, one of the ones where I think that, you know, earlier this year, I don't know if you guys noticed as far as you guys as everyone watching, but the media really did a great job of tearing down raw feeding and oh, yeah. their job is has been successful because there are a lot of people out there that don't realize that um, that raw feeding isn't dangerous for pets or for humans. They believe I, and I talk to these people all the time because they're just nervous about the bacteria. And this story right here, to a lot of mainstream people, it's the FDA shutting down a bad brand. They that's, don't yeah. it. So that's why it's so important. You may not think that anything you share matters, or you may think, oh, well, other people are sharing, so I don't have to do this. No. It, it takes all of us. We all have to constantly mm -hmm. share. So, and that goes even further. You know, the two crazy cat ladies have a newsletter that's very prolific and um, without being annoying, lots of great mm -hmm. information they're sending to your mailbox. Go to their website and sign up for that newsletter. And when you get those articles, share those on social media. And, you know, do the same for all of the content creators that you follow. You know, play me. But, you know, all of us, you know, we have videos out there. We have blog posts out there. We have just regular Facebook lives or updates. Share those with your friends so that you can start making raw feed more mainstream. And yes. maybe the next time when someone's brand is on the chopping block, there'll be more eyes. That'll take, you know, the fact that someone was able to take a sample of Rad Cat and not put it in a cooler that they had in their vehicle and just let it sit open for an extended period of time at what 80 degrees yeah. and test it, you know. Well, I love that. I love that Susan Thixton, Truth About Pet Food. God bless you, Susan Thixton. Yes. Um, really like, and, and, and that's something else that can be very proactive is writing to our Department of Agriculture. Yes. Oh, agriculture, writing to the FDA. Let them know this does not go unnoticed, mm -hmm. that this is an absolute violation of law that they put into place, that they are absolutely turning a blind eye to uh, because. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know why. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. No. I, I mean, I think that that's what's really sad is I get the, I get the fear factor. Make it rain. I get the fear factor, though. Uh, you know, and I and I don't doubt that there are some very good intentioned people at the FDA or the Department of Agriculture. They're like, oh, my God, they're feeding raw food. Like, we've got to stop this because I am still to this day, might I add, to this day, raw food was scary to me. It, and I literally had to say to Jay when she was saying, we're going to switch them to raw food. We are really doing this because of Scotch's kidney issues. I, I couldn't even watch. I was sure she was killing our cats. Yeah. And then I thought, my God, what are we? That was my fear. And I've been in pet nutrition for 12, 13, 14 years. Just today, she said, oh, did you see I got chicken necks for the baby? Gross and scary. <laughs> Still, my first reaction, gross and scary, right? So it's not just that there's big bag monsters out there. It really is about making this 
fresh feeding movement, something that is not scary. Make it make sense. Use your logic. I am so excited about it now. Although the chicken neck still, um, <laughs> it's just not my favorite, right? But when you when you see the difference that it makes, when you know when you know how healthy it is, the species appropriate, fresh raw feeding um it's got to it's got to just continue growing yeah i so, mean mind you our cat that we transitioned to a raw food diet at age 18 is now 21 and we thought he was just going downhill and now he's 21 he'll be 22 next year in in 2019 um so not too far away so yeah so it makes it's, a big difference it, it makes a huge difference you will we, we will we you. will eat stuff i cannot even say in a facebook live so that we can feed our cats. Hand the goods. <laughs> right. We will eat the processed junk. You know, no, because it's like, oh, you know, and see, that's what I'm saying. You know, Once you know, uh, Danica just said, hey, girl, normalize raw normalize feeding. Normalize raw feeding. I love that. Exactly. Yeah. And that's just it is that, you know, I when I saw Danica's comment, um, normalize raw feeding, I was thinking about the fact that it's completely acceptable for us to eat fast food on a daily basis, knowing what it's doing to our bodies. That should be what freaks us out. Um, knowing what it does to our bodies. But, you know, something that's healthy, you know, people are, you know, people aren't outraged by people eating fast food, but people are like frightened and freaked out about raw feeding. And as, you know, Adrian said in the beginning, I was just like, are you sure that this is okay? And we're still seeing, I saw someone yesterday warning about, you know, the dangers of listeria. And it's just sort of like, yeah, if I go and eat raw food, then, you know, I probably would have a risk. But, you know, when we're talking about our animals who in the wild will kill a, ra a, a rabbit or a mouse and eat it. You, you know, see a little frying pan, a little ta -da <laughs> sort of like, And that's, just, that's the problem is that it's, you know, sadly, it's hard for people to believe that any government agency would target a brand. And it's it's hard for me to believe that. And it's hard to believe that the pet industry is as cutthroat as it is. But, you know, sadly, it is. And, you know, I don't think that, you know, I don't want to go to war with anyone, but I don't want us to lose, you know, our ability to feed our pets the way we want to because of it. You know, yes, ultimately, like with my dogs, it's DIY. But there are so many people out there that don't have um, the resources or the knowledge to do DIY. And mm -hmm. for those people, we need brands that are on our side, that are always producing something better, who who you don't have to worry about selling out to a kibble brand and right. changing their sourcing and ingredients. And, yeah. you know, and that was Radcat. And there are, I mean, plenty of other brands that are like that, but, you know, I feel like, you know, we're justifiably concerned and worried. It's not the end of the world. And I think that this is a really great um, wake up call to all of us. Someone said it was a wake up call to not put all of our eggs basically in one basket. We need yeah. to spread it out. But also, you know, we need to um, educate ourselves and educate our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And keep on it. I think that's one of the, you know, you use the word targeting. And I, and I think that's a, I think that that word is accurate. But I also feel like there's something about um, complacency and human nature that will get away with what they can get away with if they can get something for it. And I feel like this, you know, Rag Hat is that brand, is still that brand uh, that did not sell out, yeah. that always had an integrity of product that I think is just, um, it, it's just inspiring. And I really want to come back. But I think that there's also a part of some of these agencies, perhaps, that are like, oh, this would be an easy shut it down, you know, well, one more recall, let's just, you know, and, yeah. and no one will really say anything. And it's cats for the love of God. Rat cat didn't even, you know, I think everyone knows, especially in the, in the dogs are where it's at. Yeah. Dogs are the, you know, that's the, what the, blows the, my mind about this is because the rat cat talking, never started making dog food. They stayed there. I mean, they were a cat brand. They were yeah. just for cats and, and they were, I don't, 
Yeah. The no, universe. I mean, but that's, it, that's the truth. It's it's in the in the raw food. And this is what bugs us so much or it bugs me a whole lot is that when we're in the pet nutrition world, there's so much dog, 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 dog. And dogs are easy to feed raw. They're they're not all of them are easy uh -huh. to feed raw, but they're they're easy to eat it. They're quicker to eat it than most cats. They, yeah. It takes longer. It's more of a it's more work <laughs> Finicky um, to, a to get a transition in there. But uh, <laughs> finicky AF. Um, <laughs> But so for them to target a, a cat food, the raw cat food company, when there's so many yeah. that, that have a very minimal um, uh, cat, you know, market basically. And they're way, way bigger than rad cat. It just, it breaks my yeah. heart. Bottom line is I, I feel like they did. They picked on someone that they didn't think it was going to be that big of it, you know, just kind of shut them down. And uh, this is our chance to let them know, no, we, we notice and it bothers us. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and you know, Susie said something too positive. I thought something I, I missed About it somewhere. Posting but on the, post as page. many positive comments on their page, like not just to let the Department of Agriculture's know what's going on, uh, but also let Radcat know just the big difference that it's made. She said something about maybe the right person will be reading it. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, I'm all about what is a, uh, Mother Teresa has this quote that we love. She was like, I will never, don't invite me to an um, anti-war anti rally. If you invite me to a peace rally, I'll be there. That difference in perspective, yeah. that focusing on the positive, yeah. I think that, I think that's what Radcat has done as a brand. And I think that's, you know, moving forward, that's what, um, that's what we want to do as well. And I have, on, I have zero doubt that Radcat, no matter how it works out, that they're going to come out on top because the, I, the truth and love always wins. And so, yeah. And so I, I know that whatever it is, um, they will come out on top. But again, I do want to stress that we are working on and should have uh, available um, at, at, at least somewhat available next week, a, a, a stopgap solution. So we're working on something that will hopefully be, for all of us that have cats that that uh, absolutely is a rag cat junkies that absolutely need rag cat and we're looking for a stop gap until they come back um, or until we can transition them to a different type okay. of diet yeah. um, then we've got a we've got a solution that we're yeah that we're working on it's not yeah complete, but in the yeah, meantime it's it's test like, number one went well test everything keep what's good that is, that is amazing ladies I you know I want to just say um. Thank you guys for watching us in the comments. Yes, Ladies, right. thank you for talking to me today about this. You know, I'm I'm really excited for what you guys have coming forward. I love the message. And, you know, I think it's just a reminder. Keep it positive, everybody. I know that it's tempting to get angry and, you know, attack and judge. Keep it positive because that is how we're going to win. And just keep sharing. Find your people that you follow and share their stuff. I mean, it's, it's great to like it, but share it make a comment, do all that type of stuff. Because let me tell you about what happens on social media. When you interact with our posts, when you share our posts, when you comment on our posts, that tells Facebook, oh, this is the type of stuff that this person likes. Oh, all of these people like this type of stuff. And then that's when our message starts to see, get seen more in the field. And so yes. is, as Danica says, we need to normalize raw food. Yeah. Very normal because we've been doing this. But to 96% of parents, it is crazy talk. Sorry. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's me. Sorry, we had buzzing going on and it was making you break up. <laughs> Sorry. I was like on a roll too. Can, can, I know, can you just go back and... <laughs> You're like, no, nope, just forgot just it. For no. one second. No, but it is, I love it your is very true. <laughs> Look at my bow. The, the beautiful bow. <laughs> Fabulous hair. So, yeah, yeah. You were talking about how Facebook works and yeah. sharing is, is so important. And I want to add to that, if you have anything to say, if you have a video that you can make, if you have, you know, the, the same type of message to give, give the message and then ask your friends to share it. You know, yeah. the more people, the more voices we have out there the stronger this whole, this, uh, whole movement, this fresh feeding movement will be. And I would love to see fresh feeding, fresh pet feeding as a trending topic yeah. in social media. Yeah, um, one, um, one thing, one hashtag that I use is, and I'm gonna have to write it down because I can never remember it off the top of my head. And I wish Emma were watching because she knows it, but basically it's add fresh to the bowl. And yeah. it's the Instagram for 
at AFTTB. Yeah. And so you know, start, start doing the hashtag at Fresh the Bowl or those initials so that we can find each other and yeah. we can share each other's stuff. And you know, make it make a point of sharing at least something, either your own experience or someone else's experience once a day. Just get in the habit of doing that because you know, again, let's normalize this so that this doesn't happen again. Yes. Love yep. It. Yep. Yay. AFTTB, there it is. Yep. Yep, there it is. AFTTB. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. yay. Mwah. I'm so happy to talk to you. Uh, you guys yeah, have for giving us for, this opportunity. Yeah. And, yeah, asking us for the I really think the more people talking this. about this, I mean, and and yes, like let's keep it positive. This, you know, whether it's sharing on Facebook, whether it's educating people to become in contact with, normalizing raw feeding, remembering that, you know, we may just have a small ripple effect, but together we're all gonna make some yeah. waves. Together we're so, much stronger. Let's get it done. Yeah. All right. So okay. So are we, are we are we are we like done? I think we're done. I think we're we? done. I, now I have to figure Jade, out how to end Jade it. Jade is a big kiss. I was like, I, I think she's finished. Yeah, I think we're done. I mean, do we hey, cover everything? We could chat all day. No, we're, we can we're, sit here and chat. We're like a half an hour away from wine time, right? <laughs> no. Now it's just like, now everyone could, um, you know, we could just, you know, this awkward time when we just try to figure out how to stop it. I know, right? <laughs> There's this big button that says end broadcast. I'm She's guessing like, that's awkward. probably I can just red. push the button. <laughs> It's not awkward at all. <laughs> um, happy Saturday, everybody. Yes, happy Saturday. Happy love you, Kimberly. Day. Love you guys. Yes, love you, love you all. Mwah. All right.